Welcome to Uplifting People. I'm Tony LeBron, and on today's show, we are delighted to have with us Earl Hurd. Earl Hurd is founder and CEO of BIC Alliance. He is also founder and CEO of BIC Recruiting, IVS Investment Banking, BIC Magazine, and BIC Media Solutions. He is executive producer of films such as A Gift Horse and Rock Bottom and Back, as well as an author of a number of books, including Earl's Pearls and Michael Learns to Listen. We're honored to have with us Earl Hurd. Welcome, Earl. Hi, Tony. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely. So glad to have you with us. Earl, as I've learned more about you reading your books and hearing about your life, your life is really could be a movie. It's full of um, <laughs> tragedies, it's successes, um, adversity, but through it all, you've used it to, to go th to success. Let's go to the beginning. Tell me okay. what inspired you to be a childhood entrepreneur. Well, uh, I guess you could say I was an entrepreneur from early on. You know, mm -hmm. I used to sell cold drinks at LSU and cut grass. And okay. uh, as I got older, I always, uh, even when I was in industry, I did things to supplement my income. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I came from families of entrepreneurs. Uh, my dad uh, and also my father-in-law after I got married, he was an entrepreneur. Okay, so, so as a child, it was, it was something that was inside of you. Yeah. Yeah. And so you face adversity as a young child. Tell me about your sink and swim moment. Well, uh, that was a life changer for me right. because uh, I was uh, one of the youngest people. I, I didn't learn how to swim until I was about 13 years okay. old. And I, uh, my dad was one of those tough guys in the armed forces. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd just throw you in the water and let you swing, sink or swim, and right. I'd sink. Okay. And uh, so I almost drowned a couple of times. And uh, so one day I was at the swimming pool, and this lifeguard came by. And I was in the shallow end of the pool. Mm -hmm. You know, all my friends were down in the deep end. And he said, what are you doing down here? I said, well, I can't swim. He said, well, can you listen? Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I can listen. So he, he took off his little life jacket thing mm -hmm. and whistled whistle and got in the water with me and he started teaching me the basics. And he said, if you listen and do what I tell you, one day you'll be a lifeguard. And that was like being going to the moon, you know? Wow. That was before 1969 mm -hmm. when he actually went. So. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, I learned how. And, uh, and uh, so then I got to be a, a lifeguard and I started training handicapped children and others, and it just created a passion for me. Oh, and I guess being a slow learner, it right. made training a passion for me, which has been all my life. Right, how amazing. <laughs> Someone that didn't even know how to swim. <laughs> but yeah. this, um, this person took time and invested in you and told you, can you listen? And then you became a lifeguard. Yeah. That's incredible. That was, that was the foundation for me having a passion for training. Amazing. And I really like helping the people that's uh, been to rock bottom or mm -hmm. starting over mm -hmm. or really struggled. You right. Know? And it's it's perpetuated into your life, into your life story yeah. and what you're doing now. Yeah. You also had another moment. You wanted to be part of the football team. But oh. They told you you were too skinny. <laughs> yeah. How did you overcome well, that? Well, that was person? in junior high. In junior high, okay. Yeah. And uh, so in those days, I mean, L LSU was like number one at the time of Billy Cannon. I mean, it was okay. really, and, and, and it started in junior high and high school. And everybody wanted to be on the basketball team. And so I was kind of standing under the um, uprights mm -hmm. thinking about, well, do I really want to go? And I could see these guys limping off, you know, and this and that. And, I, and then I looked over to the side and I saw these, there was three guys and about eight girls, mm -hmm. all cute little girls, and they were throwing them up and down and cheering and everything. Mm -hmm. I said, that's for me, I'm going to be a cheerleader. Right. And so that's, <laughs> I started walking to the beat of a different drum yeah. early on. Yeah. But uh, that's how I got I didn't ever get on the football field to play. I became right. a cheerleader. A cheerleader. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing now. Exactly. For people. Cheering people on. <laughs> yeah, at 75 years it's old. Amazing. It's amazing how these things in your life, small things as a child, yeah. really have affected yeah. you to what you're doing today. And so after high school and college, you met your wife. Yeah. Tell me yeah. about your, your wife and true love. Well, um, we just celebrated our 50th anniversary. 50th wedding anniversary. Yeah, and um, she's uh, half French and half Hungarian, and she's one of those people that uh, she's really easygoing, loving, uh, but she does have her opinion. Okay. And she's helped shape uh, a lot of the direction that I've gone, including being in the publishing business. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, I went busted the first time out, and when I was in the television production business, it was her that suggested that I go into the publishing business. Okay. That's, that's crazy. I can't write a spell. She said, right. well, you know how to sell and you know who to write about. So, mm -hmm. But anyway, now I'm on the largest multi-industry energy magazine in North uh, America. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> now, you celebrate yeah. 50 years, 50 but there years. was a little time in there that there was some adversity. Oh, yeah. Well, um, during my first business, 
uh, I, I could see I was in trouble with my television business. And in those days, you buy a camera and uh, for seventy-five thousand dollars, and a year later, you get one for ten thousand. Was better. Okay. So I could see I was going, you know, down the tube, and the oil industry was going down. And uh, so uh, I had started this training magazine mm -hmm. to drive my uh, mag uh, training company, and she suggested go do the magazine. Okay. And I, I said, No, I'm a bar against the home. And uh, she said, well, I love you. But if you lose this home, you got the wrong priority. You're wow. putting your business over God and our family, mm -hmm. and I'm going to leave you. And that's exactly what she did. Wow. And uh, we were divorced uh, three, four years from uh, 83 to 87. Okay. And twice when I was really on the road starting over, mm -hmm. she was a hairdresser. She didn't really have any money, but she loaned me the money to print my ma uh, mail my magazine when I had a money to print. Okay. So we remarried in 87. That's amazing. But it wasn't easy. I mean, of we, course. I, it took me 15 years to get back on my feet, feet. after right. going to I mean, by. divorce in itself is something tragic. And to think that you went through that, but you were able to come back and restore the marriage. I yeah. Mean, that, that's an amazing success story in itself. And now you're celebrating 50 yeah. years. Well, Tony, I've, I've, I've been through the, you know, whether it's uh, family mm -hmm. issues, uh, spiritual uh Business, personal. I've really been to rock bottom. Back. That's why the most recent movie and book has such a passion for. It. Absolutely. What do you <laughs> think is that one thing that keeps you going through through all the adversity that you face as a child? What is it that that keeps you that gets you going? Some people just quit. Some people, many people, just give up. But you didn't. Well, it's, now it's because of my faith. Okay. Uh, I had a near-death experience in 1997 uh, mm -hmm. where uh, I always believed in God, but I really wasn't uh, passionate. Mm -hmm. uh, but in that time, uh, I got uh, carjacked and mm -hmm. mugged and left for dead, and mm -hmm. I really thought I was going to die. Mm -hmm. And I promised the Lord that night that if he let me live, uh, then I would start going to church and start tithing mm -hmm. and doing all the things I should do. And, and uh, that's what I did. I actually lived through that mugging and beating. They car they actually, uh, the people that mug me and uh, carjack me, they could kill the next pe people with my car. Wow. So I was very wow. blessed that night. Bless God's spirit. But it, made a, it made a devout Christian. Absolutely. That's amazing. And uh, one thing, a side note, when I start doing right and putting God first, my, mm -hmm. I always try to put my family first, but when I put God first, my family first, and helping others, my, my core business quadrupled. Amazing. And that's why I've got the resources. Uh, Amazing. To We're going to take a break. When we come back, we will learn more about Earl's life. For your support of Uplift TV, you can receive all of Earl Hurd's featured books and DVDs as seen on today's Uplifting People. This includes the inspirational movie Rock Bottom and Back, featuring six inspirational stories of faith and hope. I'm Danny Trejo. Rock Bottom and Back share stories of people from all walks of life who have gone from desperation to inspiration and who are now giving back in amazing ways. It really isn't worth living this long, slow death that alcoholism really takes you down. You know, really, I had just lost all hope at that point. And I thought, well, you know, it's be much better just to jump off of this bridge and just end it all right now. I looked at myself that next day and I was like, you are disgusting. Who are you? Who have you become? I had no, I was so lost. You'll also receive the Rock Bottom and Back book from New York Times bestselling author Susan Mustafa and Earl Hurd. I just had to wake up one day and... And at 15 years old, I became a full-fledged, needle freak, heroin and cocaine junkie. My life went into a total tailspin. After a life of drugs, alcohol, and crime, I hit rock bottom in Soledad State Prison, a place I thought I'd never leave. Instead, it was where I began to rebuild and come back. Also included is Earl's Pearls, a sought-after book on wisdom and knowledge written by Earl Hurd. You'll also receive Earl's popular children's book, Michael Learns to Listen. And as a bonus gift, you'll receive Earl's first movie, A Gift Horse, starring John Schneider. This total God-inspiring package of movies and books from Earl Hurd are all available for your donation of $75. Order now at 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Or order online at upliftoffer.com. 
On today's show, we have with us Earl Hurd. Earl has a fascinating life. You've already heard a little bit about it. Earl, welcome back. Um, we, we just learned about the mugging and how yeah. God spared your life. Um, your book, Rock Bottom and Back. And so your life story is a rock bottom and back. Part yeah. of that, you were in business for 15 years at a major corporation, but you resigned yeah. to start your own business. Tell me yeah. about that and were you successful? Well, um, I graduated from high school in 1960. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, industrial... Um, all the plants were building all across the South, and so I went to work for a company called Ethel Corporation. Okay. And because um, I was always passionate about training, and I started off in operations, and I worked my way up uh, to where I um, got into supervision, and I got inv interested in fire and safety. Mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't have a lot of the technical background that a lot of other guys had. Right. So I figured if I was going to succeed, I needed to do it because I could work hard and I went through every kind of training on fire and safety. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my ticket for moving up through the organization. So I became a foreman and a um, assistant general foreman. Anyway, I ended up uh, becoming training coordinator. Okay. And that's how I got interested in movies and, you know, PowerPoints and mm -hmm. all that. And then I after 15 years, I decided to go in that business myself. Okay, and so you started your own business. Were you yeah. successful at first when uh, you started? No, it was a disaster. It was like <laughs> a freight train going downhill. Um, I had this passion for the mm -hmm. TV, and I'd gone to New York and thought I knew something about doing it. You right, know? right. So I started this television training movie, uh, training company, and doing training. And uh, but I didn't know anything about running a business, mm -hmm. you know. I didn't really, really know a whole lot about networking, and uh, uh, all I knew is it was fun doing movies, and I would go do them, you mm -hmm. know. And I actually, we actually won the Mardi Gras Film Festival and beat out Exxon in the early '80s. Amazing. But but I went busted, you know, a couple of years, and I put my home up and lost everything. Yeah. I actually pulled a car out of the driveway from my daughter and my wife uh, years ago. Wow, so wow. It was it's, tough. You had to start over. Yeah. What did you do different this time when you started? Well, let me tell you, over. and that's a key thing mm -hmm. people can take away from this. One of the things, and I do a lot of speaking now, is I, I always learn, I learned how to network. Okay. And so when I saw that I was going to go out of business, I got in uh, I got in touch with my former plant manager. Okay. And he got me an interview. There was a cat cracker startup, a refinery was starting up, in Crot Springs, Louisiana, which was close to my home. Mm -hmm. And uh, networking doesn't necessarily get you a job, but it'll get you an interview. So I got the interview at 7 o'clock on a Friday night, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I had to go to Houston to you know, go through all the HR people over there. But I ended up getting that job over 700 people. Amazing. And I didn't have a college education. Amazing. Because but of relationship? I, well, I had all these training movies right, I'd produced right. that wasn't worth anything yeah. too. So I, but uh, yeah, I did that cat cracker startup at uh, it was Hill Petroleum at yeah. the time, and, but I knew I was going back in business, and and I knew I was going in the magazine business, mm -hmm. which is what my wife had suggested that I so do. So many years ago. So yeah, yeah, at night I'd I'd research magazines and I'd write articles and I'd write down names. And Amazing. When I hit the ground running, I actually took an old training coordinator magazine and I got a guy to design a cover with Bic mm -hmm. and I stapled it on it and I started selling. Amazing. So many life <laughs> moments throughout your life that, that have that changed your life. One of them in your book is a money clip moment. Oh yeah. Tell me a little about money yeah, clip moments. That was interesting. Uh, when I first started I had Bic magazine, which is an industrial magazine. Um, but I came up with this idea to have a women's business magazine called Woman's Coordinator. Right. Well, that was a crazy idea in the first place because I found out once I got started, most women business people don't think of themselves as women business people but as business people. Okay. So the concept was wrong. Mm. But I had it and I was trying to make it. So I And I had promised myself when I went busted that I, either, I always heard uh, work won't kill you. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to find out because I'm either going to get back on my feet or I'm going to die working. Right. And so That's I was good. making Working a call good. about 7 o'clock at night with this guy, and he owned the health clubs. And uh, I went in there, and, and uh, I was pitching the women's magazine. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was interesting because he took, he, he reached in his, uh, in his pocket, and he pulled out a money clip, uh -huh. and he threw it across the table, and it bounced on the floor. Okay. And uh, 
My background is in fire and safety, and mm -hmm. I've learned a long, long time ago that some of your most creative thoughts are when your life's on the line, mm -hmm. but also when there's opportunity. Mm -hmm. So he said, the next time that women's magazine comes out, I want my wife on the cover. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I walked over to get it. And I've learned this, that you know, sales and management, always let the other person talk. So they were talking, and, and I was walking over there, and I thought, if a guy will invest, it was $5,000 in that money. That, that he just threw, threw it, yeah. $5,000. Yeah, he said, I want her on the cover, mm -hmm. and here. And uh, so I took the money clip, I rolled off the 5000 but in my mind I was thinking, if a guy will invest 5000 mm -hmm. to put his wife on the cover mm -hmm. of a women's magazine, that's going downhill. Right. What will somebody, what will a big corporation invest to sponsor the front cover of a big magazine, right. which is bigger? And uh, so that's where I got the idea. That was my first money clip. Wow. Which I, that, a money clip moment is when I come up with an idea, or somebody comes up with an idea, mm -hmm. that that one idea generate over a million dollars. Amazing. And by the time I came back and took it off, I knew that I was going to have people start sponsoring the front cover mm -hmm. of my Beck magazine. Mm -hmm. And and I didn't even sleep that night. I went out the next day and got somebody to sponsor the cover of Beck for 7500 and I did that women's magazine with that woman on the cover, and I shut it down. I went four, from four times to six with Bic. Incredible. Money clip moments. How important is it to identify? You were able to identify that moment. Yeah. Somebody else may have just looked at, past it and thought, okay. I believe any. But I you believe, allowed it to change your life. Uh, Tony, I believe anybody can create those kind of skills. Mm -hmm. It's just like happiness is a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, and we have a choice. And and you got to think of something. And the, uh, the biggest challenge most people think is they think of the glass as half empty instead okay. of half full. And if you really want to get on your feet, that's not an option. You got to think of things as half full. So good. And half, no, what, is, what can I make out of this opportunity that can exceed the, you know, that's what happens. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll learn more about Earl's work with inspirational movies, books, and more. For your support of Uplift TV, you can receive all of Earl Hurd's featured books and DVDs as seen on today's Uplifting People. This includes the inspirational movie Rock Bottom and Back, featuring six inspirational stories of faith and hope. I'm Danny Trejo. Rock Bottom and Back shares stories of people from all walks of life who have gone from desperation to inspiration and who are now giving back in amazing ways. It really isn't worth living this long, slow death that alcoholism really takes you down. You know, really, I had just lost all hope at that point. And I thought, well, you know, it's be much better just to jump off of this bridge and just end it all right now. I looked at myself that next day, and I was like, you are disgusting. Who are you? Who have you become? I had no, I was so lost. You'll also receive the Rock Bottom and Back book from New York Times bestselling author Susan Mustafa and Earl Hurd. I just had to wake up one day and, and at 15 years old, I became a full-fledged needle freak, heroin and cocaine junkie. My life went into a total tailspin. After a life of drugs, alcohol and crime, I hit rock bottom in Soledad State Prison a place I thought I'd never leave. Instead, it was where I began to rebuild and come back. Also included is Earl's Pearls, a sought after book on wisdom and knowledge written by Earl Hurd. You'll also receive Earl's popular children's book, Michael Learns to Listen. And as a bonus gift, you'll receive Earl's first movie, A Gift Horse, starring John Schneider. This total God-inspiring package of movies and books from Earl Hurd are all available for your donation of $75. Order now at 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Or order online at upliftoffer.com. Well, Earl, your life has been is fascinating, and it's been so good to, to learn about your life. You are now producing Christian movies. The first right. one was A Gift Horse. Right. Tell me a little bit about the transition to, to Christian movies and the movie A Gift Horse. M many years ago, I, uh, I started giving books as gifts to my clients. Okay. And the last couple of years, my son-in-law, Thomas Brinsco, has been running all of my main businesses, mm -hmm. the uh, big magazine, investment banking, and recruiting. And so in 2005, I started doing books. My first book was just what we do together that counts. But I always thought, well, I'll do movies too. Okay. And uh, so I helped promote the, uh, 
the Lone Survivor movie mm-hmm. with, uh, you know, about uh, Marcus Luttrell and right. Mark Waldman. Anyway, I helped promote that. And they had so many of my clients, we were doing it actually to help raise money for uh, uh, the Lone Survivor Foundation mm-hmm. and a boot campaign. Okay. But I got interested in the movies up there. And uh, so my investment partner, John Zaplak, and I decided we'd put together a little fund to produce inspirational and faith-friendly movies. Okay. And the first one we chose was A Gift Horse. Was A Gift Horse. Tell me a little bit yeah. about the movie. Well, that was about this little girl. Uh, her her mother's passed away, and and uh, her, she's not... Uh, it's a, it's a kind of like a coming of age movie, but mm-hmm. basically she's a, a raised on this farm and she bonds with this lady that's a trainer and she gets to uh, learn how to do the horses. And, okay, uh, it's a great little inspiration yeah. movie. We got five uh, on five Netflix. Stars. Five stars, yeah, on, five Netflix, stars on Netflix. I think it's doing well overseas in France. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's uh, one country over there. It's actually playing in the theaters. Amazing. But uh, yeah, we've done well with that uh, that movie. Your first one, a gift horse. Second one yeah. was uh, Rock Bottom and Back. It was uh, yeah. tied in with the book. Tell me a little bit well, about now that some one of the stories in the book. Yeah, the what I did, uh, Tony, I wanted to do this book. I'd done a, year, a book years ago called Energy Entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. where I featured these successful folks. Mm-hmm. But I wanted this to be people that had not just gone to rock bottom, but had come back and now were giving back. That's good. And I wanted it to be different, like some were about gambling, right. others were about alcohol, drug abuse, mm-hmm. PTSD. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sexual abuse, okay. sexual addiction, mm. you know, pornography. Mm. I mean, uh, so the book contained uh, twelve feature stories. Susan Mustafa, okay. who's a New York bestseller, mm-hmm. she helped me write this. She book. Co-wrote with you? Yeah, yes. and she co-wrote it with me, and uh, and then I used um, for the movie. Uh, Tracy Boss out in L.A. She works with me, and she's the one who got Danny Trejo. You know, yeah. he's like. Morgan Freeman, yeah. a Hispanic, yeah. and and uh, he's actually been in three prisons. So he he loved the story so much that he uh, did the he was the MC. Amazing. And the vision was exactly what we were talking about to make it a, a TV series. Yeah. And uh, so what I did is I took uh, six of the feature stories from the book, mm-hmm. and I uh, produced a film. Amazing. Short and some film. of the um, the the people that worked on the film were actually people. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a that's, From a it's really unbelievable. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the New Orleans mission. Mm-hmm. New Orleans is the number one city for homeless veterans. Right. And uh, David Bodner, who is in the book, mm-hmm. uh, he's the director. He's training with our help. And uh, Troy Duhon had helped bankroll God's Not Dead. Right. And he's a big benefactor. For anyway, we're, we're helping train homeless people to be filmmakers, and they're the ones that shot this book. So homeless people help shoot the movie. That's right. That's incredible. Another movie, Earl's Pearls. Tell me about this one. Uh, Jewels of Wisdom, worth passing Now, that's just a book. Okay. But I'm shooting film on it now. Uh, But that's an interesting one. This is a a collection of about uh, 60 articles that have been in BIC on everything from uh, overcoming adversity, making mm-hmm. adversity adventure, getting along with the boss, uh, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs okay. and how it deals with our life, mm-hmm. uh, uh, kindness. I just did a film, short film. Uh, what my plan is is to do a series of these. Mm-hmm. And I did one on becoming a better person and leadership. But this book right here is, uh, uh, I did it about eight years ago, and it is perfect for just dealing with people. Right. Yeah, dealing so with 60 people. stories on people. Yeah, and in the back it's got biblical verses and uh, just pearls of wisdom. Yeah, That's the that whole idea. encouraging. Then yeah. you have one for children, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Michael learns to listen. Yeah, now... Ever since, because I was always a slow learner, Mm -hmm. and ever since I've been training people, I've always trained them on how to listen first, how to retain information, Mm -hmm. how to listen. And this is actually three generations, because that's uh, that's me and my wife and my uh, daughter and Mm son-in-law, my three grandkids. And I wrote this so that people would get it and go over it with their children, but they would really remember it themselves. Yeah. And this is a very, very popular book. Absolutely. That's what we're going to do with... uh, uh, Uplift TV is yeah. make all of these available yes. for people that want to make donations yes. and 
help, uh, but the help themselves too. Absolutely. And, and Earl, you've been so kind, like you just said, um, these books are available for anyone that makes a donation to Uplift TV to help us continue uh, bringing Christian movies and TV shows to our network. Why is it important to have, for families and friends to have these books um, in their homes? Well, we have a term called meaningful media. Okay. And books, uh, there's a lot of research on it, but books are really the best gift you can give because they last a long time, especially if they're uh, significant, books mm -hmm. of significance. Mm -hmm. And so when people buy a book, it, it's, a, it's a reflection on them as an individual. Uh, and uh, so it's good to have them. And a book, you, it never goes away. You can right. refresh your mind right. with it. You can share it. You yeah. can pass it along. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been doing it... Uh, but over 30 years. Amazing. I did it with other people's books before I could do it with my yeah. own. Amazing. Especially this one, I think, uh, for so many moms, right? Young moms that want to inspire their, their children and give them what a key principle, to learn to listen. I carry this book right here mm -hmm. whenever I travel anywhere in the world. Yeah. And a lot of time I'll see a, a, a parent or a grandparent or something, they having a trouble with a kid on a plane right, or an airport. Right. And I give them that book and you think I'm, it's Christmas. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I love doing it. Amazing. Well, Earl, thank you for being with us. It's been an honor and um, just a pleasure to hear your story. So inspiring. Thank you for giving back to the community and the amazing work that you're doing. Well, I feel blessed to be able to do it. And thank you a lot Absolutely. for the opportunity. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us on Uplifting People. Until next time, I'm Tony LeBron. For your support of Uplift TV, you can receive all of Earl Hurd's featured books and DVDs as seen on today's Uplifting People. This includes the inspirational movie Rock Bottom and Back, featuring six inspirational stories of faith and hope. I'm Danny Trejo. Rock Bottom and Back shares stories of people from all walks of life who have gone from desperation to inspiration and who are now giving back in amazing ways. It really isn't worth living this long, slow death that alcoholism really takes you down. You know, really, I had just lost all hope at that point. And I thought, well, you know, it's be much better just to jump off of this bridge and just end it all right now. I looked at myself that next day, and I was like, you are disgusting. Who are you? Who have you become? I had no, I was so lost. You'll also receive the Rock Bottom and Back book from New York Times bestselling author Susan Mustafa and Earl Hurd. I just had to wake up one day and... And at 15 years old, I became a full-fledged, needle freak, heroin and cocaine junkie. My life went into a total tailspin. After a life of drugs, alcohol and crime, I hit rock bottom in Soledad State Prison a place I thought I'd never leave. Instead, it was where I began to rebuild and come back. Also included is Earl's Pearls, a sought after book on wisdom and knowledge written by Earl Hurd. You'll also receive Earl's popular children's book, Michael Learns to Listen. And as a bonus gift, you'll receive Earl's first movie, A Gift Horse, starring John Schneider. This total God-inspiring package of movies and books from Earl Hurd are all available for your donation of $75. Order now at 844-7-UPLIFT. That's 844-787-5438. Or order online at upliftoffer.com. Dot com.